This is Inside Video Review for round 22 of Major League Soccer. I'm Greg Barkey, Pro's Manager of Video Review. Six reviews in the 13 games, two penalty kicks, three goals, and this review for a red card in Montreal versus Toronto in just the third minute of play. Come on! Let's take a look at this. Yellow card. Ooh. 14. Oh, I think we got him. Okay. Tell me the delay. Drew delay. Yep. Okay. Contact points there. This is going to be, I think, my best angle. Okay. Oh, this angle's good, too. Okay. Right, let's forward here, Jeff. That's what I'm missing. Pull it out of here. Okay. Let's just go, go into the full speed with this for me. Right now. I gotta set it down. I think so. This thing's done. And this is serious foul play, so we need no APP. Ah, uh, purple claw. Drew, Jeff, I'm gonna send this down for a review. Uh, I want the high end zone, so it's okay. seven to come up. I want it on the contact point. Okay. There. One more. One more. Right there. That's contact. Drew, you have the contact point when you get there. Okay. Back it up, roll it forward, 50% first, and then I want full speed. So loop it, 50. Oh. Oh. 100%. Oh. Again, again, again. Yeah, I like red. 14. Okay. Toronto's Noble Akello had entered the challenge with a raised right foot. Cleats exposed, missed the ball, but drove his foot into the midsection of Montreal's Victor Wanyama. The challenge had excessive force, and the mode of contact endangered the safety of Wanyama. The referee correctly changed the original yellow card to red for serious foul play. Early in the game between Atlanta and Nashville, a penalty kick was awarded when Nashville's Alistair Johnson fouled Atlanta's George Bello. Possible foul. Slow. 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 Slow
Okay, let me see it from the beginning because I want to make sure yeah. Sekulich is not offside from the beginning. It was throwing. Oh, it's a throw-in. Understood. Okay, so uh, we'll give a we'll give a goal. We'll go to review and we'll give a goal here. Thank you. Although Barish was in an offside position, the VAR saw that there was no offside offense because the ball had reached Barish from a deliberately played ball from the head of Red Bull defender Andrew Gutman before deflecting off the heel of another Red Bull player, Caden Clark. Chicago was correctly awarded the goal. There was another review for offside in the attacking phase of play, leading to a goal when the assistant referee had a Orlando's Techo Akindeli in an offside position, but could not tell if he had interfered with the goalkeeper. All right, do we have, can I get behind the goal? I want to see if number 13 is interfering with the shot. Uh, so behind, nice. okay. All right, play 50%. All right, uh, is he off? This is, yeah, this is it. Up is he off? You don't, this is your on the field, this goal. You don't. Okay, I, I, I got it, hold on, we're checking this, okay? Give me a we're check. talking about interference or not? Yes, I'm looking for interference or not. Okay, are you, uh, do you, Brian, do you have him in an offside position? I have 13 in an offside position. I do stop. not have a touch and I do I'm not have stop. line of vision stop. issues. But okay. I don't have an angle for the stop. second. Okay, give me one second here. Let me make sure. All right, play, play at a regular speed. Play, no, play, uh, play at 50% again. All right, yeah, give me 25%. And we're talking I want to about see if there's a touch on the... Oh, there's a touch there. Yes. Okay. Okay, I recommend a review for offside. Are we doing touch or line of All right, there's an actual touch here. It's going to be minute. I am here. All right. This is this is actually a touch by Tesho. Okay. okay. We're going to we're going to go from the shot at 25% so that you can see the touch. Okay. Play it through. It's a slight touch. Okay, do you have him in an offside position? Yes, we have him in an offside position. Can you play real speed, please? Yes. Okay. No go. No go. Offside. Akindeli had extended out his left foot towards the ball as it traveled through to the goal. And the VR could see that he had actually touched it, meaning that he had committed an offside infraction, interfering with play. The offside position was a close call. But it's important to remember that in this case, that the on-field decision was that Akindeli was in an offside position, but that the officials could not conclude in real time if he had committed an offense. The referee disallowed the goal and awarded an indirect free kick to Miami for offside, interfering with play. However, it should be pointed out that even if Akindeli had not touched the ball, his clear action of attempting to play the ball had an impact on the Miami goalkeeper and he would have been punished for offside interfering with an opponent. This was a good use of video review to rectify a clear error in a somewhat complicated situation. That's inside video review for round 22. You can find more information on the rest of the reviews from this round by reading the definitive angle that can be found on ProReferees.com.